Welcome to Be Great Today, your weekly inspirational podcast. I am Jonathan Bloom, or Fazley Sparksman, as I'm known in the World of Warcraft community. Today, I want to discuss leading to follow others' leads. That probably sounds like gobbledygook. This leadership concept is one I have been starting to understand in ballroom dance. When you dance, there is a lead and there is a follow. The lead keeps time, directs the steps, and showcases the follow. The follow's job is to follow the lead and be showcased by the lead. There are times when the lead has no clue what they're doing and they don't give the right signals for the follow. This is poor communication. However, there are times when the follow can start to take over. They end up leading the lead to do something. This is called backleading, or as leads more politely say, transferring feeling. Dancing with lead and follow creates a fascinating tug of war for control when dancing. It can be hard to describe if you've never danced. It's about finding that balance where you are either leading or following, but not taking on the other person's role. This dance of control, pun intended, is why I find ballroom dancing so fascinating. Two people working in tandem to create a spectacular piece of art. When it is done correctly, it is beautiful. The dancers enjoy it, and the audience enjoys it. There is another level to this leading and following. That is when a lead follows what they feel the follow is doing. Friday, I was at a dance party and I led a certain move. The follow thought I was leading something different. Instead of stopping the whole dance or fighting them, I could actually feel what they were doing and changed my lead to the step they were on. The follow wasn't leading me to do something. They were following what they thought I was leading. I had to change to be there to support them. This concept of following a follow's leading is freeing in leadership. If you can feel where something is going, you can actually change your current move to go along with those you are leading. As a lead, I still am the timekeeper when I do it right. I still hopefully know what I should be doing, but when I can feel the leading from those who are following me, it helps me change direction to be there for the follow to finish their step. This doesn't mean compromising the overall vision, but there can be alternative ways to get to what you want. That isn't an analogy you can apply to everything, so be careful with your moral standard. This is about the small steps along the way. I hope I did not confuse you today. I tried to explain this dance terminology in a way that is beneficial to all. How can you modify your leading this week without sacrificing the essence of what you're working to accomplish? Are there things that those you are leading are trying to tell you? How can you adapt to provide support for what someone needs at a particular moment? I hope going forward that we all can find ways to work together better, like a dance couple, where each has a specific role, but they work together to create something magnificently awesome. Thank you for joining me today. This has been Be Great Today. I am Jonathan Bloom, or Francis Sparksman, as my World of Warcraft friends call me. You can find this episode at b greattoday slash eight. You can email us at podcast at b greattoday Until next Sunday, be awesome. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com. Weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. Be awesome.